Cubism was a revolutionary new approach to representing reality. It was created by Pablo Picasso and Georges Braque in Paris between 1907 and 1914. Some more famous artists included Juan Gris and Marshall Ducamp. Cubism didn't always have a noticeable subject or meaning, but they gave certain emotions towards the lines and colors used in it. They all brought different views of subjects together in the same picture, resulting in paintings appearing to be fragmented and abstracted. Cubism was one of the most influential styles of the 20th century and even had an influence with war. It opened up almost infinite new possibilities for the visual reality in art. The Cubist painters rejected the concept that art should copy nature or that artists should adopt the traditional techniques. The artists emphasized the two-dimensional flatness of the canvas instead of creating the illusion of depth. Juan Gris was born on March 23, 1887 in Madrid and died at the age of 40, considered as the third Cubist. He loved the fragmented picture style to create a bold and graphic look by both Picasso and Brooke and was inspired by them. The Cubist paintings are usually abstracted that also show sensuous rich colors which started the development of modern art during the 20th century. Cubism is also a revolutionary art movement arranged surrounding still life and objects using daily life in simpler forms. It is also about observation with memory of the objects to create a poetic evocation. However, Juan Gris paintings are more precise. Every element is carefully refined with purpose. He painted a portrait of Picasso and the still life with checkered tablecloth. Juan Gris was also one of the movement's leaders during World War I and later designed costumes and sets of ballet company. Georges Brooke was a French Cubist painter. He, along with Picasso, found the Cubism movement in the early 20th century, which deeply influenced the movement of modern art history. He reduced excessive colors to pursue the maximum compactness across the whole picture structure. The observation and inspection process of the top side front and back of the object is compressed into one picture and one moment. In houses at a stack painting, the houses and trees are reduced to geometric shapes. Brooke compressed the space depth of the picture in a unique way, making the house in the picture look like a biased paper box, but between the plane and the three-dimensional effect. Everything in the picture, whether the most profound or the most foreground, is presented with the same clarity. The grim events leading up to World War II had a profound effect on Brooke, during which he painted a series of skulls and other still lives. His paintings at the time exclude a sense of darkness, despair, pain, and misery as if making a political statement. Another significant Cubism artist is the famous Paul Cezanne, also known as the Master of Eye. He is generally categorized as a post-impressionist. His unique method of building form with color and his use of nature influenced the art of Cubists. In his early pictures of romantic and classical themes are infused with dark colors and executed with discreet brushstrokes such as his painting them The Gulf of Marseilles seen from El Estec. Over time, his colors became more vivid and the attempt to capture the essential form and shape of objects in nature, whether from still life or landscape. His technique in these early paintings is similarly romantic, showing emotion and passion. For his man in a blue cap, also called Uncle Dominic, he applied pigments creating a surface everywhere dense. In this painting, using both a brush and a palette knife and applying paint as though it were cement, the aspect of Cezanne's style in the 1860s is the sense of energy in his work revealing some kind of feeling. Marcel Duchamp was a French-American painter, sculptor, chess player, and writer. He was influenced by Fauvism and Matisse, but quickly developed his own personal style of art of hybrid type of cubism that used earthly colors, mechanical and visceral forms, and the depiction of movement. 
Duquem's new descending staircase number two rose to popularity. After the success of this Cubism style painting, Marcel Duquem shifted his focus to ready made sculptures. These were ordinary objects of everyday use. Sometimes slightly altered and designed the works of art by the artist. By World War I, he had rejected the idea of creating art that serves a purpose only to be visually appealing. His work can be understood as a forerunner to the revolutionary sensibility. Duke's greatest contribution to the art world and history of art lies in his ability to question, criticism, and playfully ridicule existing norms.